This is a public service announcement. I want to first off by saying thank you to all my subscribers and thank you, like, honestly, from the bottom of my heart. You guys are all awesome. Um, I want to prepare you for something that they're talking about, but they're not talking about. So a few days ago, they had basically said on the news, and I verified these facts, that there is a potential that they're going to shut down absolutely everything. There's a huge potential that this is going to happen. They're going to shut down grocery stores, gas stations, and you're like, whoa, whoa, whoa wait, they can't do that. Well, they can now because of what they're saying about the symptoms. Now, if you have red eyes, if you have runny nose, if you have any type of symptoms that they now have classified basically under the common cold, if you have any type of symptoms, you are not allowed to work. And you must make sure that you're free and clear of those symptoms before you're allowed to return to work. And it does not matter what field you're in, you are not allowed to go to work because of that. So are you prepared for a complete shutdown? Do you have all this essential, the essentials needed to um, basically last 30 days, roughly, if there's a 30 day shutdown, do you have enough supplies to last those 30 days? Now, this is something everybody needs to think about, right? Do you have enough propane? Do you have enough gas? Like these are things that you have. Do you have a backup generator, right? There's key things you should, everybody should have in their house, okay? Number one thing they should have is, a, is water. That should be the number one thing. Number two they should have is a bag of rice, massive bag of rice because you don't need much. You, honestly, you don't need anything else. You need a bag of rice and you need water, okay? You got a vehicle, you can cook rice, You're, right? You got a microwave, you can cook rice. Um, you got no hydro, there's other ways to do it. Light a fire, everybody's got pots and pans or they're everywhere. Everybody has forks, utensils. That's not the stuff I'm talking about. I'm talking about basic essentials to make sure that you have enough food to last 30 days, and it's not just yourself, it's your whole family, right? So the people who are like, yeah, I got enough food for 30 days. I got 12 Hot Pockets and, you know, 15 TV dinners. No, that's not what I'm talking about. Your hydro goes out and the hydro workers can't go to work because your hydro went out. Do you have a generator to cook those TV dinners and stuff? People are going to end up dying of like salmonella poisoning, right? If this, this, if this happens. But so what they're saying, they're talking about a complete shutdown, complete right? Due to the fact that you cannot go to work if you have a cough. You cannot go to work if you have sniffles. You cannot go to work if you have a runny nose. You cannot go to work if you have red eyes, right? They legalized cannabis like, I don't know, a few years ago, right? And it was a, an election thing because the guy that thinks he's running the country decided to do it, right? If you smoke cannabis and you, and you forget your visine, you're going to go into work and they're going to send you home. And the reason why they're going to send you home is because red eyes is one of the symptoms. Like it's, it's absolutely insane. So are you prepared to like last 30 days roughly? Cause that's pretty much what it's going to take. It's going to, if, if that's what it is and they're saying that you cannot go to work, if you have any type of symptoms, it's going to last. That's what's going to end up happening. That's why they're like, you look in England right now, they're bringing the military in. Well, even if you have a shot, even if you have 25 shots, 25 boosters, it does not matter. It's exactly like the flu. Why do they administer a flu shot every year to vulnerable people? Why? You ask that question. Why do they give everybody who has a weakened immune system a flu shot every single year? Why? Because there's a very good chance that they're going to die from that flu. There's a very, very good, good chance. But you're not going to die from a cold. You're not going to... This is the this is the hype that the media has you thinking, oh my god, is this end of days? Is this is this what this is? No, it's not. You don't have to worry about that type of stuff. Just be cautious. That's it. Take care of yourself. Keep your vitamin C levels up. I drink 
a ton of orange juice. I eat a ton of oranges. I eat, like, I eat, I wouldn't suggest certain fruits and certain vegetables because they have pesticides in them and stuff. And people don't know that, right? Like an apple a day is not a very good thing because it has pesticides in it. Even if you wash them, it does not matter. But anyway, be prepared for a, a complete shutdown. So make sure you have all the essentials. It's, it's just that easy. Just, just be prepared. Just stock up on a little extra things just to make sure that you have it. And, and so you can protect your family, you know, and this, this is going for the men and the women, the household of the family. You need to make sure you step up and you prepare and you get ready for this because if they do a shutdown based on symptoms, <laughs> so many people are going to starve. And that is like one of the hardest things to, I, I can't even comprehend that. How are people starving when, Every single day, people are throwing away $5, $10, $15 worth of food in the garbage every single day. Well, I can't, I, I can't eat half that burger. I'm going to throw it out. Give it to a homeless person. Cut your burger in half. Like, There's people out there on the streets that are literally, their bellies are empty. They haven't eaten in I don't know how long. And it's, most of it's not their fault. It, it, doesn't, it doesn't really come down to circumstances. It comes down to a mental instability in their head and that's what ends up happening they don't have that certain you know thing in them that tells them that they have to keep going they don't have that in them you know there is circumstances where you get kicked out right but there's things they could have done to avoid getting up to that and a lot of people it comes down to education if you're not educated properly and you're and you're not like you, you think you might be educated, but it's not until you lose everything and you realize that you didn't know anything, you know? So just people, please be prepared in case there is a shutdown. Lots of water, have rice, pasta, you know, even if it's like a hundred boxes of craft dinner or no-name craft dinner. I love the no-name craft dinner. I don't like the regular one. So, you know, oh, and lots of ketchup. You got to have lots of ketchup because if you don't have ketchup, then it's or Chinese ketchup, which is, you know, hot sauce. Um, if you don't have, uh, that type of stuff, then, you know, you're, you're not going to last 30 days. So please people like start realizing that you, you, you need to be prepared. You need to be ready for what's about to come. Right. So anyway, um, with that said, uh, I want to wish everybody, uh, a happy, happy day. And I hope everybody, uh, is not as freezing as I am right now because it is freezing cold up here. And uh, I want everybody to stay safe and warm and tell your kids, if, if you've never told your kids you love them, you need to start telling them that you love them. You have to. I tell my kids 55 times a day and they're like, dad, like we get it. You love us. Okay. You know, and uh, just call up somebody that you haven't talked to in a long time and just tell them how much you love them and stuff and, and talk about the good times because when it's over, it's over, right? And you can't talk about those things. And people leave so many things unfinished. You got to be able to just tell them that you love them. And, and it's it's awesome, right? It's a good feeling. It's a great feeling, right? So, you know, and if there's something you can do for a stranger today, do it. Because it's going to make you feel... It's, it's not just one person that's going to be gratified by that situation. It's more than one person that's going to be gratified by that situation. So make sure that you, you tell them that you love them and, and, or help somebody out or, or whatever you can do to make yourself feel better. And I'm telling you, things change and things change for the better when you see what your goodness does and how other people react. So just, you know, do your best people and love one another and, uh, We'll see you on the next one. And if you can, if you can like this video or subscribe, I'd really appreciate it. Um, I have clothing available as well to try to support an initiative that I'm going to attempt uh, by feeding the homeless uh, during the cold. So um, if you can, if you can buy a sweater or a shirt or anything, I only get a small portion of it. But that small portion is going to go towards these people to try to get them some something. Like it's just, it's horrible. They... There's warming centers. They don't have anything. They can't sleep at the warming centers. There's no food. Um, it's just basically they go in, they stay up all night, and then they walk out with empty bellies, and they're tired, and they basically just go sleep on the street. So if there's anything you guys can do, um, if you can support it, uh, buy a t-shirt, buy a sweater. The sweaters are cool. 
Um, and, you know, just remember that helping, helping one person, you're not just helping one person, you're helping more than one person. So, you know, stay safe, happy 22, and uh, let's make this the best year we possibly can and uh, love one another and just get, just get over our issues and carry on. All right, God bless.